Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. Thank you for joining me in today's video. We're going to talk about the junction restabilizer. So for this, we need to visit the fabrication station because here you will unlock all upgrades for the auto shop and for the car. With this one, you will unlock the upgrades for the character, but that's for another video. So once you're in the fabrication station, once you start playing the game, actually and your first time visit the auto shop, the first thing you're gonna build is going to be the antenna. The antenna will give you one scanner charge and it will allow you to go on a run. You can pick a route with that and go and do a run. So then you will start playing, doing runs, gathering materials and unlocking upgrades here. But if you want to use this junction restabilizer here, then what you need to do is this. So because Junction Restabilizer uses the scanner charges to reroll a junction, you first need to build improved antenna, of course, because with improved antenna you will get three scanner charges, and then with this another antenna upgrade you will get five scanner charges. So first you need to build the antenna, then you build the second antenna, then you build the Junction Restabilizer, and then you build the advanced antenna to max out the scanner charges. And now let's see how all that works, guys. So when you come here on the map, and now let's say I want to go to the red spires here, all the way to the end. I want to gather some Olympium, and in the same time I want to go through smokestacks, let's say here, or whatever. I want to go through here. So now, as you can see, here, I planned one destination, one scanner charge is gone, and you still have, I still have four scanner charges to use now with the uh, junction restabilizer, because I've unlocked everything and uh, I have five scanner charges. So now, when you pick a route like this, what you want to do, you want to use junction restabilizer from the top, so from the third zone, because here is the most most worst extreme conditions, like as you can see now, meteorite medley, exhausting explosions and sweep storm. And now with the button R, I will just try and reroll this. But as you can see, you can get the similar or the same conditions. It's again extreme, so now I lost one scanner charge for nothing and I need to try again. And now finally, as you can see, it's only conclusive blasts left. In root analysis, you see now that all dropped from red to yellow and white. And this is how you use the junction restabilizer. So now I clear this one. This one is good. I want to clear this one. So you see now A5 is all in red. We have Anchor Party, Conclusive Blast and Swift Storm. And if I now try to do this, it will stay the same, but the others will be just, the other things will just drop, so like Radiation Density, Zone Storm. And the next one I want to clear is, let's say, A6. And again, I clear this one, so now I will go to here, through somewhere around here. But what else you can do now, if you don't like this one? And if you fuck up something, your rerolls are wasted. You can just then load last save, where you were in the garage. Just load the last save. Then come here again, and uh, just pick the route again, and then try to clear what you want again, right? So let's see, this one, not good, again, good, this one, good. And like this, you can reroll and reload the game until you create a route that you like. And then you're ready to go. And that's all about the junction restabilizer, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked what you see, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. And join me in another video.